Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, previously we checked how to use YOLO volume 8 with C++ and in this video we are gonna check how to use YOLO volume 9 with C++. Um, the people who are directly watching this video, I can suggest you to watch firstly YOLO volume 8 video and after that come back to this video because I'm uh, explaining the details in there uh, more clearly. So in this video, uh, shortly we are gonna just uh, touch some points. Okay, so I just suggest that. And next, all you need to do in this Ultralytics uh, website, you need to get these uh, PyTorch models, tiny, small, medium, extensive kind of. So I already got some of them, which one I got, tiny I got, um, tiny, medium and extensive. Okay, you can get those also accordingly. Uh, in this page, all you need to do is that and nothing else we can pass. So also I already prepared a simple um, presentation to compare YOLO volume 8 and YOLO volume 9 and I don't want to get to the details because this video content is not related to the comparison but all I can say is that uh, between them is there is only one year difference and uh, most of the things even looks like different but uh, mostly they are similar because um, the major difference always between the YOLO versions are is only the accuracy nothing else I can say to you so YOLO volume 9 the accuracy is better than YOLO volume 8 in most of the cases so uh, I can say if you uh, if you have uh, if you are confused about which one using YOLO volume 9 is gonna be better I can tell it clearly anyway so what we need to do is just first of all we need to get um, before switching to the C++ course we need to get Onyx format because uh, we are using OpenCV, C++, we need kind of Onyx format so we can use that in the C++ part. So all the Ultralytics YOLO Volume 9 is giving us PyTorch model so somehow we need to convert them. Uh, how we are gonna convert them? I'm gonna use this um, simple three line magic code which is just all you need to do is just um, installing Ultralytics and TensorFlow because Ultralytics inside using that. But here important again I need to give you maybe um, my pip list because uh, I'm getting conflicts always some cause of versions the even is giving me some onyx format it's not uh, working fine with in my C++ code giving errors so it's important to get the correct version so I'm giving you guys the my version so you can compare and you if you are really getting difficulties you can get the exact versions and you can make it run in your machine also i'm using ubuntu 22 just to mention um okay first the important one ultralytics i'm using this version and the others are just tensorflow which is in here so uh, this torch uh, versions can also matter so just uh you can stop and check the versions detail by they are matching or if you have no problem with your current version so just ignore but if you are having problem firstly check the my package versions that's all and these three lines uh, is using the tensorflow light model light format because uh, in my C++ this is compatible to use and I'm trying to convert medium medium YOLO volume 9 model and that's all and uh, we can run this script and it's gonna just give me uh, YOLO volume oops exporter so yeah here it's gonna give me even some errors comes here just ignore it's just gonna convert my PyTorch model into Onyx we already got that the rest is not important for now you can even cancel because it takes also long time so in order to get uh, this one we can delete these things also I got my Onyx format which is in uh, where it is oops I delete the wrong one anyway just delete these two okay so I got my Onyx format all you need to do is just getting this Onyx model and Coco dataset txt which is in here this is, these are the objects I need to detect because uh, is the model we converted based on these objects and copy this path and copy that onyx path uh, we are gonna need them in this C++ code uh, this is 100 line code don't be scared about it uh, also the people who directly need this code just mail me 
and uh, I will send you the code exactly. But this is a very simple code. Uh, there are three functions. The first is just getting Coco dataset and uh, pushing all the objects into a vector string. That's all. And it's just loading my Onyx model into the uh, DNN, OpenCV DNN model. So uh, also if you do not have CUDA, it can uh, directly use CPU in here. It's just deciding that. And that's all. And the most important function is this one. Uh, about this uh, dimension things, I can remove here, no need. Uh, this dimension things and uh, others, I don't want to talk again, but uh, you can directly copy. You don't need to know also, but if you know, want to know the details, you can check YOLO volume 8 video again. Uh, this part I can uh, talk again a little bit. So the data after the frame, each frame is uh, uh, analyzed in the DNM part, in the backend part. So data comes through here. And first we are skipping the first four data, first four double float value. And because they are belonging to the, if the image, if the object is detected, they are belonging to the um, center X, center Y width and the height. And the next, after the fourth element, the next 80 values are including the percentage, confidence percentage of each object. And here we are getting the maximum score. So this maximum score is gonna tell me if which order it is. This is the object uh, detected. So also we have a score threshold if it's bigger than that, otherwise we are just ignoring getting through. And here we are getting our center and the width height values. Since they are flawed, we are converting them into the integers because we are dealing with pixel levels. And that's all. After everything is done, here we are just uh, putting our rectangles into the frame and just putting the text. And this function is doing that. And that's all in the main part, nothing, uh, nothing uh, complicated here. Uh, we are calling our functions in a while loop. We are um, running through each frame belonging to our video or image. Yeah. And uh, that's all. Uh, I'm also using a simple video to check. Let's run and see how it looks like. Okay, you see, uh, it's detecting very well. Tie is detected, persons are detected, but do not expect this model works perfect because this medium. If you use tiny, it's gonna be more trouble. So, if you, you need to convert the extensive or the other best models, this medium, at least most of the cases, is gonna work, but. For more accuracy, I will suggest you to use other models. Yeah, and that's all. Actually, I'm done for this video. I just want to show this YOLO Volume 9 how it looks like. And I got my target. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.